PlayStation logo. Piracy harms consumers and someone else. I don't think it harms anyone. <clears throat> Loading. Human. Hmm. Let's see if there's a little video intro. Oh, human entertainment. Okay. Clock tower. Yeah, there's going to be a little uh, kind of like trailer or something. Now, I've only played the very beginning of this once. It's a point and click adventure. It's kind of a famous, well known one, I think. I don't remember any of this. Okay, I guess the that's evil it. I thought they were slashed to death. With a knife? No, uh -oh. it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for prey. The trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Here it is, the Barrow's Mansion. What is going on? But we'll never solve the mystery of scissor man. Got to be joking. Way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we're not safe anywhere. One after another, the horrifying murders continue. We will make it through this game of murder alive. <clears throat> Clock. Oh, very meta. Okay. Let's get into it. Clock Tower, alright. 1996. Let's do a new game. So I've never played this before. I mean, I have played the opening for a little bit. But uh, I don't really know a whole lot about this. Other than it's a point and click. Horror adventure game pretty well known I like the sound and the look of it it really has that sort of classic horror vibe to it uh, I'm pretty sure there's a big twist in this game so let's see how this goes what on earth are you doing professor you mustn't hypnotize her like this she's not ready to remember the murders yet Helen the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. Yikes. So already some uh, pretty awful voice acting. Oh, am I this guy? Well, let's see if I remember how to play this. Okay. X is to like examine and walk. Faint smell of ammonia. Uh, can I do anything else? Um, I don't think so. Okay. I need a pair of scissors on the desk. A replica of the scissors used by the murderer. In the clock tower case. These are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. Okay, that was weird. Now I'm also remembering that this game has some horribly slow text to that you really have to click to. Click through. You can't do any hold and... What is this? It looks like a fine link cabinet. Memo stuck between the pages, hint number one. Okay, how do I view that? Where, how do I get to like inventory? 
No. Obviously, this is a chair. Oh, the clock tower murders. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Yeah, very intriguing. Jennifer Simpson, only one of two survivors. I have to get information out of her for future profiling materials. <laughs> okay, how do I view... Do I not have an inventory? It said I picked up, like, a, a memo. Um, can I actually click this light? Just a light switch. Yeah, okay. I guess we'll move this room. Still don't know how to access my inventory. Okay, so this is my laboratory. Lately, I've been doing mostly criminal psychology research. Okay. The staff is still here. Okay. Sounds like a fax is coming in. What is this? A flower? A book? A statue. It is called one of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. It seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Okay, why do I have this? Shouldn't this be in, like, police custody? Who is this lady? Beth. Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago, and she looked really angry. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I guess that's my assistant. Is this another statue? A stuffed animal looks like a prize won at a fair. Okay, so nothing important. Here's a computer. Wow, look at that skull, that 2D skull. Okay, that's not where I clicked for sure. Harris's desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. Okay. Can I look at this picture? Nope. Let's talk to you. I'm assuming you're not Harris. This is Danny, professor and newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? I don't know. Okay, let's look at this skull thing. That is like terribly... Can I look at this? Scissor man's rubber mask. A kind sold in cheap novelty shops. Seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. Okay. We seem to know a lot about this case. I guess, did he say 10 murders at the beginning? I'm not sure. There's still something I need to do in here. Okay, what the hell would I need to do? No, don't go there. What could I possibly need to do? Is that something? That bluish? Nope. Nothing there. Go into the computer, for goodness sakes. Okay, good. Uh, Helen's desk. Oh, yeah, this is my assistant. Who left angry? Okay, I can't do anything, can I? Oh, here's my inventory. Is it up here? Yes, Harris's desks, I know. This game um, would be a lot easier if it was on the PC. I'm using a PlayStation controller. Okay, what do I need to do? Do I need to go back into my office? This is already getting annoying. Okay, there's something, there's something. I'm pretty sure I've done all that. There's that. There's that. There's you. Uh, I don't think I missed anything over here. Also, my green ass guy is a little ridiculous. It doesn't really match with anything. There's still something I need to do in here. Okay. What could I possibly... Is there like another side of the room I can't see? What's going on here? No. I can hear a fax machine. But I don't see... Like, where it would be coming from. Right, Harris's desk, right? I've already been over here, right? Yes, okay. And I can't look at this computer, right? Yes, I know Harris has gone somewhere. That's the mask, okay. 
Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how we know that. I guess the witness probably saw it. Yes, people buy stupid things like this game. Um, can I do anything here? Right? Yes, the desk. Yes, I see that. Why would you let me just look at it? No, don't go over there for fuck's sake. Okay, at least I can run. Yes, I know. Oh, I have to talk to her twice? They look like sisters. Um, I guess that's what happens when you live together? No, that's not what happens. What does that even mean? Don't let your personal feelings get in the way. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Yes, yes, you're right. Was that all it wanted me to do here? That is going to be really annoying if it lets me leave now. Nope, there's still more to do. Oh, Lord. Now I remember why I stopped playing this. Yes, it is about the clock tower murders. Uh, I guess they want to sensationalize this scissor man who really doesn't even exist. Scissor man. It'd be cool if he were real. What? Er, um, just a joke. Okay. Wow. That was annoying. You have to talk to people multiple times. Okay. <sighs> Professor, a newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Okay. Th uh, can we... Can we not use the elevator? Apparently not. I probably have to speak to you again. But let's just check the other side. No, don't go back in there. Oh, I can't go down this way? Oh man, this is already just ridiculous. Let's see, does he have something else? Yeah, he does. This is so... This is such a bad game design already. She's already gone home. Um, something you wanted to see her about. Uh, no. He's always so gloomy. He's top-notch, though, that's for sure. But then... So what are we? we? I'm a psychologist, but these people are, sound like reporters. They work for me. I'm very confused. Am I working at, like, a university? What is this? We want to go to the first floor. Okay, this elevator does not have a top. Let's walk into the darkness. Is this the reporter? Nolan, professor. I'm the one who called you from the Oslo, Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Okay, now... I'll See, the way it goes, like, in and out of dialogue is so old-school, poor game design. Okay, I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer I is? <laughs> I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Oh, do you mean the victim that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, uh, nothing really. It's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused. Okay, understandable, I feel like. Uh, you just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about, the scissor man, and whether he really exists or not that's it that's right that is what our readers want to know because the existence of this scissor man has become a symbol of terror among 
youngsters. Okay. Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized uh, the whole thing. Ouch, that hurts. Yeah, that was pretty harsh. Not much I can say to that, is there? Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but... Okay, that's it. Interview's over. There is something I must be attending to. Ah, well, okay, I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower murders. Okay. He is supposed to be a young boy about 10 years old. Okay, so he said Oslo research, so I'm assuming we're in Norway. Not sure why we're speaking English. Um, was I on the second floor or the third floor? Let me guess the second floor. It's kind of strange the uh, n newspaper reporter just had a photographer, even though he called him a video man. But he was clearly just taking pictures. Uh, is this the same floor where my lab is supposed to be? It looks like it. Oh, we have uh, no, no cutscene. You. Who is this? Harris. Oh, yeah. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower murders is in here. Oh, is here, sorry. Oh, he uh, has he arrived already? Yes, he is waiting in the therapy room. Okay, good. Let's go talk to him. Uh, there's still something I need to do. Are you kidding me? Do I have to speak to this guy again? Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. Uh, I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan, Metropolitan Library. Uh, yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrows Mansion named Rick. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. Why would I show it to a butler? I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Okay. Uh, yes or no? Oh. Yes. How do I say yes? Oh, interesting. Okay, this is kind of strange. I'll say yes. All right, I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. Harris, uh, would you take the statue and show it to a man named Rick? Is that the statue that was at the scene of the crime murders? <laughs> Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything about it? Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening. Very good, thank you. Okay, that's that. I should probably go to the therapy room. Okay, I guess apparently he knows who I need him to find. I don't quite understand why I would ask a butler about this. You know... What do we got here? Uh, let's talk to you two. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I am an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I am Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Edward. He's just standing there like, what? Um, now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now, I want you to be, I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Er, yes. <laughs> um, 
Well then, let's get started.